All right, TLDW, um, overheat is not good when you have three modules. Two, you can really push the time. I can, with level five, and I, I figure with level four as well, you can push it to about two and a half minutes before you need to turn it off, just to be careful. You don't burn out something because you could get unlucky and with 87% damage, if you get one more hit, that could be 10 more damage and you could be burnt out, right? So what if I had said, okay, 87%, let's turn it off now. So I turn off both my overheating modules, which are at the very end, and uh, unluckily enough, this module that's 87% damage gets two hits. So that would be uh, nine point, what? Eight point, that would be eight, nine point eight? Nine point eight. And that would give, I could, I had a chance of burning out. So unlucky enough, I could get totally screwed or over at, at there was a chance if both of them applied damage to the same module, which I'm assuming was in the middle. Ta-da! So I was right on that one, right? So, typically, it the damage won't wrap. It, the damage, you will see damage apply sometimes to the very end, and you go, oh, it wraps, but no, it's just a lesser chance, not too lesser, but more chance to damage that than that than that. And if you're in the middle and you've got two at the ends in the middle, statistically speaking, will receive most of the damage, you know, like rolling, getting a seven when you're rolling two dice, right? So two D six. So yeah, that's, that's the way it plays out statistically, but it's very random. The RNG is huge. So that's the TLDW. Um, you can last two and a half minutes with two modules overheating like that and of course the cycle time is quite long for these right so 20 seconds is a long time but it will give you um, enough percentage that you can survive a few a few like literally more than two minutes hoping that the mass of omens that you're overheating for um, will switch targets at a pirate stronghold and that's what you're praying you can your passive tank your buffer will last just long enough that they go derp swirl and shoot something else and then you're like laughing you can turn off your overheats and two minutes right two minutes is a long time when you've got three flush axon field because it'll only take you 15 minutes to kill it. Well, actually less. So two minutes is a long time and you can get lucky and push it as long as possible uh, and get rid of the stronghold, loot it and warp off before you take too much overheat damage. So it is possible, um, especially if somebody else warps in on you and completely, or, or your teammates screw up and warp to the fob and and you know there's a whole bunch of omens it's possible so that's how i did it and i've got this one and this one on the ends and these two right here and of course grouping them in space has absolutely no effect on overheat right i could have like i could have i could move this this up here and it would still it would still take damage so it's not spreading in space, it's how you set it up at dock. So hopefully that helps. Um, and the rest of the video is just uh, doing, let's see, I did one, two, three. I did three uh, pirate strongholds in this video, and each one gets progressively more intelligent <laughs> as I go. So yeah, you can stop watching now. I haven't gotten all the information I could glean out of my tests, but feel free to watch more if you're into masochistic punishment as I act like a freaking noob about thermodynamics. <laughs>
And of course, because I forgot to mention in the DLDW, the reason that it's so important that you overheat when you're being overwhelmed and praying to for the omens to switch targets when there's you know more than 13 of them right uh, usually when there's 18 or more you're like oh god overheat is that yes you get two and a half minutes but you also and if you watch the video i do the math i suck at math but it's pretty simple you get 20 percent less damage when you overheat I, it's just, it's in, I've got Peld going, I've got calculators and worked it out. So yeah, it, it is useful. It gives you that little bit extra and yeah, 20% less damage when you're getting overwhelmed is yeah, pretty decent and, and you can get away with it. I mean, two and a half minutes is a long time, but don't push too hard or else, yeah, funny things happen uh, in an unfunny way. All right, welcome to Eve Online and Mater Freak. So the question is, part two of this overheat thing, is it gonna work? I've maxed out my resists already, and with the reactive hardener putting everything into EM, if there's, hopefully there's this omens here, but will it work? Will it boost this to 99, right? Because, you know, it's currently at 95. It'll go to 98 when they attack I'll overheat all three and see if I go to 99 it's like or I'll look definitely look at the percentage right? it is because every little bit counts I'll say that again because I tend to slur my words every little bit counts and if it's at 94 and if I go to isn't that funny it rounds up um, if I go to say 19 98.5 like Where's the percentage? Am I only 97, right? So, sorry, uh, the point is that once you get such high resists, every little bit counts because, think about it, the enemy is doing right now, if, if it was shooting right now, initially it'll be doing 6% damage. And if you get 1% more, that's 5% damage. That's a, that's a whole hell of a lot. It's not one out of a hundred. It's now down to 10%, right? So that extra percentage, that high up, is like that's, they've gone from 6% to 5% total damage. And that's a lot. And if you push it towards 98%, now they're doing 2% damage. And if you get it one more percentage, you just half their damage right there. So, yeah, right? So you can, you can withstand a hell of a lot of omens if, say, you overheat it. Well, that's a theory. Well, we'll see. So that's the concept. And that's, right, and that's the motivation, of course. My intent is to increase it to 99% with overheating. The motivation is that it literally halves their damage, right, when you go from 98 to 99%. Eh, I might be wrong, I, I suck at math, but that's that's the intent going in. Alright, so let's just uh, test this sucker out. Come on, get some omens in here. If you just get omens, the reactive active. puts it all into EM. Uh, it doesn't mean that all their damage is EM, it just means the reactive is saying, I need to put all my uh, resists into the hole based on A, my weakness, and B, their DPS type. That's how it works. So, cross my fingers, hope for omens. And I'll just mute the mic because I've already said it's gonna happen. My mistake. I should have figured, but I was thinking, I was like, is there a skill? There's no implant. What's going on? Like, I couldn't figure it out. I was like, there's no skill or implant that would do that. Do I have drugs? And I was like, what the? <laughs> so, yeah. Of course, um, the Corpus X would be much better. But, uh, yeah, that's probably really expensive. How expensive is it, actually? 
Yeah. X type. Hello. Should be cheapest in domain area, pretty sure. Look at that. Crazy, huh? What's the uh, estimated? Okay. Maybe it's cheaper in Jita. Maybe. But yeah, pretty penny. So I gain .6. So I'm pretty much gaining point six. No. Point yep, point six of a percentage. So point six is well that's that sounds like just so little, right? But in the larger scheme of things. Um, so that's 100 minus 96.64, right? So that's 3% damage though that omen is applying. Those omens will be applying, right? I, I swear it was 60%. Like, I swear up and down. I, like, I have the video showing that it, it was 60%. Maybe it was just because it was so many omens that the resulting EM damage was just so overpowering that it was like, burr, put it all into EM, right? Not just that, the, but I don't know how it works, right? I mean, if we don't we don't get to sit in CCP offices. So 3.36, right? And then when it's 97, 97.23. So it goes from... I, I suck at math, but it goes from, you know, 2.7, uh, 3.66 to 2.77. So it's doing 3.36% damage down to 2. And can I figure out 2.27, 11.5, 2.27. Right? No, no, 2.77. Sorry, my bad. Equals. So that's. Uh, I suck at math. This is really bad, but I figure it's like around 20% less damage just for that. Just for overheating. And it says, I mean, when you do that, it says 20% um, uh, hardening bonus. And you go, well, I just went up a 0.6%. But in effect, it's still lowering that omens DPS, uh, the omens DPS, the collectively, by twenty percent, right? I, it, it's interesting that it's still twenty percent. I could suck at math and have done that wrong, but right. And you can follow with me. I mean, you can see the error if I made any. I don't think I did, right? But yeah. Anyways, um, hopefully that's... And to me, 20% less damage might be the difference between being able to finish off that fob and warp away or having to flee, right? And yeah, um, it, 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 it means a lot because that 20% extra leeway might be the chance that the omens go derp and switch target and then you're like lol right so you can effectively with the plate i have plates i have and the buffer i have just survive just long enough and they keep switching targets just in time that you can finish off the fob and warp away um having done what you came here to do and you don't get any bounty off these suckers it's it tells you ooh, you're gonna get uh half a million right <laughs> Yeah, that's not the case at all. Um, you will get zero bounty, except say if the it there's exceptions, but they're they're few, literally, and far between, literally. Um, yeah. Yeah, this was in Shuria. So yeah, there's no bounty prizes. There's no nothing um, for the defense fleet, at least. Yeah, there you go. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, I'm not sure 
if me spreading out my slots was smart and if it works at all um, I took most of the damage to the corpus B type and I'm assuming 80% damage so it's this one and it's pretty much random right you cannot you cannot depend on damage consistently flowing the harshest um, to the adjacent right so the way I figure, the further out this is because it doesn't wrap, the less damage we'll take, right? This, statistically speaking, right? Um, because it's near the edges and the chances of the others affecting it is less than say if you're in the middle and, and see it, it's right. So it, it's difficult to say. But we trust the experts in what they're talking about, and they have tested this to death. And this is the way it works. So, yeah, uh, let's check uh, this one. So, we're assuming the one in the middle, what the ones that take the most damage should be the ones in the middle. Let's check if it's right. It's 80%. There you go. Okay. How cool is that? Let's check this one. I'm sure it won't be the same. Yeah. I mean, this one was 62, and I believe that's at the end. So, yeah, it's not... Oh. Is that the 62%? That would be interesting, honestly. 50% and 60%. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it's not... You can't count on it every single time, but it's a good bet that the most damage is going to be towards the middle. Out of the aggregate, right? Um, so there you go. All right, uh, here's another uh, crack at it.
warp drive active. 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 Yeah, and of course the uh, the dangers of overheating, <laughs> especially if you're concentrating more on researching than actually staying alive, which has cost me so many billions in the past and I'm sure in the future too. That could have been game over for me. For, yeah, just a cool 1.5 billion kissed away just because I was curious. Yeah, curiosity killed the cat. Autopilot <laughs> jumping. Oh boy. Yeah, that's what that's 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 me. That's 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 that's, that's my uh, that's my history of the game. Losing stuff because it was like, oh, what happens if I press this button? Yeah, and the cool and the cool thing is because of my mistakes, you can watch the recording and go, oh, you forgot to you click that, but then you forgot to do this or something, you know, right? And I think my mistakes are common mistakes, right? Um, that you can go, oh yeah, okay, that's what he missed that's what i should be careful of and I'm, I'm sure if you're overheating a lot you're like cat noob right okay so there's i'm i watched the videos and yes i did make mistakes in in that overheating day test where i burnt out a bunch of stuff absolutely watching it going oh my god you noob but at the same time i'm looking at I'm relearning, of course. I made a video about this this exact topic about how exactly overheating works, and how it works exactly is every cycle it will do. I don't know what Docking percentage chance. I think it's based on your overheat Docking level, but there will be a chance for an exact damage always. Accepted across all your modules pretty much to do X amount of damage. Now if you're at level 4 it's going to do 5.28 and you each struck each module only has 40 hit points worth of heat damage to absorb before it goes offline. Uh, if you have if you have level 5 which this character does instead of 4 like the others do it will only each module, act, each module that's active will cause just under five, and so that means level five is critical in giving you a little bit more leeway. But don't overdo it, and I was overdoing it um, <laughs> by a lot because if you think about it, I've only got 50, uh, forty hit points, and if all three modules apply their damage randomly to a single module because it's got a chance to damage each module each cycle it has a chance to damage every single module in here with lessening chances the further you go out right lessening chances it's it's you can't count on it 
I mean, this can damage this one. It's not going to wrap, but it's got a chance, right? It's not completely diminished, right? So the fact is that if you have three modules and whether they have point, uh, you know, level five, the 4.95 damage, just under five or just over five, if you have all three apply to one module that's already 50% damaged, it's going to turn off. Like you could, you could have a situation where it, everything looks fine. You got, okay, everything's like a lot of stuff is 50%, no problem. But if you get unlucky, three times five is 15. And remember when you're at half damage at 20 hit points left, if you get a hit of, uh, 15 or more it's gonna go offline and you could have more than just exactly 50 percent damage so yeah boom you're dead or that module's offline so you have to keep that in mind and i think because of that i am going to take out this module right here what i'll do is um i'll offline it because it's like weight, which when you're launched, it's like crap. I, I mixed and matched all my modules. Which one is it? So I'll quickly turn this off. I, I could probably do it in space. I have to anyways. I wasn't really thinking. But I, I, I'm thinking, okay, well, but it doesn't matter. Blah, blah, blah. I should have, I could have done it in space. All right. So we now know which one's in the middle so we're just going to move that and make sure it is it is perfect okay so these will be the ones i'll overheat so i'll just simply move that one so i don't forget and so i just want to overheat the end ones that's it and then i'll retest uh what i was doing while I was watching the video, I was going, okay, how long can you last overheating? And the answer is, when you have level four, this is approximate, right? I've got approximately just almost two minutes with Hereticus, and then just, just over two and a half minutes with Minor Freak, but <laughs> Minor Freak had a massive issue when everything just overheated at once and got a really bad luck, a low roll. I, I rolled snake eyes and all my modules almost uh, were burnt out. So yeah, and then of course I completely screwed up uh, with Major Freak's test. So I'm going to try again and let's see how long I can last overheated because you know that, that two minutes could be enough to hope the omens switch targets right so let's see how long i can last and hopefully i can last say three minutes because remember at level five i only get just under five hit points and i've got 40 hit points per so i can take each module can take um eight hits for minor freak but i'm not sure if it rounds up right maybe it rounds up and it does five points so if i take an eighth hit it'll be offline we will see uh be interesting to test uh, i really need to get my thermodynamics up on all my guys so that's kind of i think that's really important for me to do just because hey it might be useful now that I'm more comfortable with it because believe me I'm seriously not <laughs> it's not something I'm comfortable with I uh, I don't do a lot of PvP obviously and you know overheating is not something PvEers do a lot if at all um, so yeah so there we go I know what to overheat and cross my fingers. Let's 
get me myself underway. Warp drive active. Warp drive active. Yeah, and uh, I hold Warp down control active. and swipe function keys. My wife gets driven crazy when I do that. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, I've got my uh, microphone uh, placed on my OtterBox for my cell phone. I hope, hoping that the the vibrations of me hitting the keyboard is uh, less as of late. <laughs> I know, sorry, I couldn't help getting that Lord of the Rings quote in. Okay, let's do this thing. Let's, uh, I'll, I'll mute the mic and I will overheat Minor Freak first and see how long I last. And then I'll do the rest of them. And hopefully I get omens. Because, lol, right? So I wish me luck. Drive active.
The capacitor is empty.